you hear you? Okay, thank you. <laughs> All right, so um, welcome everyone. Um, for those of you who doesn't know me, uh, my name is Sirimon Osron. I'm from uh, Thomson Reuters, one of the sponsors for these meetings. Or right now, we call ourselves Caravet Analytics. Um, so, as a reminder, we thanks all our sponsors for to make these Transmart meetings uh, happen on an annual basis. So, our corporate sponsors from Rancho Well Science, Gindex, and EPAM. Anyone in here? <laughs> and other meeting sponsors from Tom's Reuters, The Hive, Elevada, and Quietjet. So in this session, um, we want to talk and you know, really welcome um, active discussion here about the data standard for Transmart. And what we think why you know, this is a right time and right place to do this is you know, we know that in, in Transmart and any other um, translational data platform, we want to be able to you know, find query and have access to the data, especially you know, even across studies. We want to be you know, a user to be able to understand and interpret the data correctly, uh, maintain the data integrity, what's going in, um, you know, uh, equip the user to do any um, data re um, interpretation, representation at the end. There's a question yesterday about you know, do we have any guideline on minimum metadata that sh we should be capture? Um, in, in this type of platform. Um, I put a question mark here about compliance. Do we need to start thinking about the future? What type of compliance of the data set that we need to you know, start thinking about and move into what, that direction? There's also a technical limitation that you know, for those of you who curate data for Transmart may know <laughs> very well about of, you know, what are the limitations of what can we do um, in the Transmart, current Transmart data model. And also we heard a little bit um, yesterday, we heard a few you know, concept about the fair data principle as well that I think is really applicable here. So as a theme carry on from the open data um, session yesterday um, morning, it was yesterday afternoon, we seen a few how of you know how this data standard and the concept being implemented across different organizations or some collaboration concept like from Atrix. So we seen information about how Transmart um, concept and you know, concept part being used in order to capture metadata or in order to make the um, uh, proper visualization that a user can understand or to be able to play around, move, move around the data. Again, the information about metadata and Transmart, really big question of how, how do we properly capture those um, data curation templates and other tools that each organization may be using your own. Um, so how do we you know, share um, all those knowledge um, as well as you know, taking advantage of, of, of our collaborative environment here. And the last but not least, you know, we, you know, we we really want to open the discussion to to see if we can bring us um, closer to the implementation and community guideline, you know, as as an open source community to see what makes sense here. So with that, with this session, again, I think we really. Um, can see that this is a continuation from the session from yesterday that we see a you know, really good example of how FV is implementing um, the data standardization for cross-study analysis. We've seen some of the data harmonization service from Atrix and, and a couple of other talks um, from yesterday. So today we're going to continue on that theme. Um, so the first talk we have Philips um, who will talk about the um, Atrix standard starter pack um, which I believe is based on many cities uh, domain and, and others um, things. So utilizing other standard that's already um, exist out there. And so you know some of the wonderful guidelines <laughs> that, that we've seen. Um, so how it's you know, applic applicable to the Transmart uh, study tree and concept parts. Then Natalia from Thomson Reuters, our Carlevet Analytics here, we will talk about you know, how do we view the Transmart visualization tree from a different angle. So not the flat, um, the easy tree across studies, or neither the CD standard, but from the point of view that we think the scientists more used to, um, to look at the study in terms of the study design. So that's, we, we're going to present how we deal with uh, different uh, study design to make sure that the data makes sense for user. Then we'll hear from University of Michigan, um, 
Becky, who hopefully will be here soon, uh, will talk about how uh, they were handled several study from cl several clinical sites in, in the Neptune project. Then we'll hear from Pfizer. Um, Alex Papa will talk about how they normalized uh, molecular data and metadata across studies. Um, we don't have anyone who will present about you by our uh, project, unfortunately, so we will skip that and we will have plenty of time for discussion and for the panel discussion at the end. So we'll skip that to a second talk um, from Natalia, um, who will talk about one of the main limitations that we found in Transmart, um, that you know, with the concept part of the data value is one-to-one -one relationship right now. And several, most of the time we have the data that have several values that actually relate to each other. Um, so how do we do that in, um, you know, uh, just one example, how do we try to capture that information? So with that, um, we welcome our first speaker, um, Philips. <laughs> 